Hey, how's it going guys? I've been super busy. I've had this catalog for, I don't know, a little over a week or so. So some of these coupons aren't valid. Uh, most notingly, the 25% uh, off one. Um, it was for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, but other than that, a lot of these are good into the end of February. Right. First notably, there's that Yukon Toolbox I've talked about in past videos. Um, that's the lowest price I've seen it. So... And it, it seems to be a really good toolbox. I've uh, seen a lot of good reviews on it. Uh, some for a generator, a jack, a winch, uh, the 99 dollar drills and uh, impact drivers. Um, I also have a video on those. My video is not too great, but it'll give you an idea of the, uh, my take on it. Um, there's a 20% off. Get to the end of February. I don't know if you can see the numbers or not. Um, some free battery, screwdriver, and the magnetic tool holder. Um, I really like those. As I've said in past videos, um, I'm sure the uh, Daytona Jack is awesome. I've seen a lot of reviews on it, actually. I considered getting it, but uh, the, the one that's half that price, the uh, two and a half ton steel floor jack has been awesome to me. So if that one's better, then um, I'm sure it's re really awesome. Uh, the foldable shop cranes, people have told me those are really good. I still plan on picking up one of those whenever I get around to it. Um, there's a Hercules tool bag. That's uh, that's a new one for me. I haven't seen that yet, so it's kind of neat. Those ladders are really awesome, but if you have big feet, you can't get both feet on the same rung. Just something to consider. Um, I've heard that people say the Bauer things are just as good as as the uh, Hercules ones, but I personally never had my hands on them. The commercial power fed drain cleaners. They're awesome. Um, I had I had one for about three years. It worked great, and then I finally finally just sold it off because I didn't need it anymore. Um, I think I think it might have been a different color, but it was from Harbor Freight. Uh, the earthquake tools are supposedly really awesome. I've never tried them out. Um, so far, I have a Viking uh, float charger or maintenance charger or something. Uh, it does a really great job. I still need to make a video on that sometime, uh, but there's plenty of them out there. I've heard people say bad things about the vices. Um, since they're hollow, you know, if you get to really beating on it, I've heard of people saying they split. The uh, heavy-duty foldable scaffold. Um, if you were doing a lot of work or some kind of professional drywaller or something, or a painter, I think they would be really awesome. Um, it seems to be a really good price, too. Uh, pretty much anything Warrior, I say stay away from. There is, there is a few exceptions, but uh, the drill bits are definitely garbage. Uh, their mechanic work gloves, awesome. They hold up really well. I'd say they're they're pretty close to the mechanic ones, mechanics gloves, um, and they're you know a third of the or at least a third of the price. If, even if you catch the other ones on sale, usually they're about you know, fifteen dollars on sale, depending on where you get them. At least from uh, parts stores and things like that. Um, the Voyager tool bags, they're absolutely awesome, especially when you catch them on sale like this. Uh, the coupons for four ninety nine. Um, I even at six or seven dollars, uh, I find them really useful. They're they're really tough bags. There's a coupon for this uh, U.S. General box. That's a very big box. Um, I wish I had room room for that because I'd definitely grab one of those too. Uh, the Warrior holes, carbon steel hole saw set. Um, it's actually a very crappy set, but uh, if you just have a few holes to cut for. Uh, closet flange or something in the floor or run a piece of plumbing through something uh, they'll definitely work for that and you, you know save some money the power strips they're absolutely awesome um, every time I go in there I always mean to grab some more because I use them for all kinds of things and uh, they held up well I've, I've had those for probably about five years and I've never had any issues with any of them and some of them are used all the time their extension cords are kind of questionable. I don't know how long they really last if you use them a whole, a whole ton. But uh, so far they seem pretty good too. Pretty good thickness and they seem pretty tough. Uh, the the hardwood movers dollies, they're absolutely awesome. For the price you can't, it's, some people will just buy them and take the casters off because you can't even buy casters at Harbor Freight for that price. Uh, I've heard people say the table saw is okay. Um, there are better brands out there all around a similar price range and a lot of them come with stains 
Uh, the hex drill socket drivers, I have used them. They actually get quite hot. I mean, I guess it's more the tool than it, but uh, I, I have yet to have them break. Their uh, impact sockets are on sale. They're also very awesome. I don't think you can get a better price on, on impact sockets anywhere else. And also, I've never had any of those break or anything, and I've, I've hit them really hard. Uh, the cutoff wheels, I didn't like them. They didn't seem to do a very good job for me. This is one of the exceptions to the Warrior line that I really like. So the high high speed steel step drill bits. Um, they're awesome for uh, if you're just trying to punch a hole for a piece of wire in some firewall of a car or something. Awesome. Um, and you know, the 13 bucks. Sometimes they're a little cheaper than that, I think. But uh, they're a great deal. I've never used any of their heaters or anything or the jump boxes. I've also people say they have a texture spray gun for drywall and a lot of people say it's really awesome too for being 20 bucks compared to 60 or 70 or a rental fee even yeah, that's a pretty good deal the aluminum cargo carrier it's actually a very decent quality um, kind of sucked with the car that we were using it on because the exhaust lined up with this so it melted a hole in something we were carrying back there but uh, that was more our fault than it but it was very sturdy. The uh, industrial grade rubber air hose by Diablo. They're absolutely awesome hoses. I'm not gonna say they're indestructible, but it's uh, definitely one of the better hoses I've ever used. Three ton floor jack, uh, it's a phenomenal deal. Um, the Pittsburgh jacks are really awesome for what you get, especially what you pay. There's another uh, Voyager tool bag, awesome. The infrared thermometer, like I said, there's better deals out there. Um, you can get that same, pretty much the same one on eBay for under 10 bucks. And sometimes there's more than one coupon per book for that thing. Uh, their air compressors are pretty decent, but I would go ahead and get the oiled one. They're actually not that much trouble. Uh, their miter saw. Um, if you just hit a few cuts or something, I'd say it's probably okay. I would just buy a name brand blade. I've never used a motorcycle lift or anything like that. A uh, digital caliper. I, I want to say actually I have that. I'm pretty sure I got it from Harbor Freight, but maybe I didn't. So I won't talk about it just in case. I'll have to make sure on the brand. But the few times I used the one I had, it was it was accurate. So laser etched wrench set. I, that's something I've never seen. I've never seen that one. So I may have to check that out sometime. I was actually in the market for some wrenches. Now they're safes. I wasn't impressed with them because of the handle on it. Kind of feels like a cheap gym locker handle, or uh, one of the metal cabinets from when you were in school. Uh, the the wood workbench is absolutely awesome. Um, it, it's kind of the instructions were kind of shitty, but uh, it's a very nice bench, especially for the price. You know, it's not a something you could just beat the hell out of, but it is a very nice bench. I've heard some people say the cameras from Harbor Freight are actually pretty good. I still have yet to get any. Uh, their heat gun for $8.99, it does work. Uh, but I always had a problem with the switch, so I went through a few of them. And their cheap plier set, uh, I believe they're also, yeah, they are a lifetime warranty. But I had a problem with them breaking, just breaking off. I would just be using them. And uh, one of them, a piece flew off and hit me in the face and cut my eyebrow. It was, it was a whole thing. So I just tossed them because it wasn't worth it to me. Uh, the roller seat, I have it, but it kind of feels like under the small amount of cushion, it's just a piece of cardboard. But uh, for 20 bucks, I actually bought it just to take the wheels off um, for a different roller seat. And I ended up just leaving that seat the way it was. Uh, the cement mixer, I'm sure it works really good, and that's about the price you can find them anywhere else. Uh, the rubber wheel chuck, that thing is beefy and uh, it's very sturdy and will keep your car in place and will not move. The aluminum jacks cost twice as much and hold less than the other ones, but I can tell you from experience that moving around a big steel, big steel jack can be quite tiring, uh, if you, especially if you had to pick it up and take it somewhere. You know, with that one probably being probably about half the weight, 
it might be worth it for you. There's uh, more of the step drill bits. And you know, and actually Harbor Freight snailers have actually been very good to me. I've only had one significant jam through uh, multiple boxes of nails. And it might have actually just been the cheap nails I was using. The press, uh, if you've ever had to do ball joints in some cars, some of them had to be pressed in and out. Um, that'll make your life a whole lot easier. Sometimes shops charge you almost that much just for one change. So then you'd have the tool, you could do it for, you know, ever for yourself. Their uh, jack stands are okay. I just don't like how deep the V groove is in them. They do make, they do have pads that you can put in there that help a little bit. But uh, they're definitely beefier than the, the Walmart version. So I would, I would probably go ahead and pick those up again if I had to. The half inch electric impact. Uh, that thing was worth every penny I spent on it. I think I also got it for 40 bucks, but it was probably two years ago. Uh, it was totally worth it. Um, it's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, it helped me get some nuts off that uh, you know, I didn't feel like fighting with. Definitely takes wheels off, no problem. Uh, my, only, my only complaint with it is how big it is. I mean, it's, it's a very big tool. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably a foot and a half long or so. Something like that. It might be only a foot, but it's, you can't get it in tight places, that's for sure. Other uh, sanders, they're okay. Uh, the creepers, and uh, they're okay too. I mean, if you're just uh, changing your oil or something, they're pretty. They're pretty good for that, but they're not very comfortable, and it likes to bow in the middle. And I'm actually right at around 200 pounds. So, uh, moving blanket. The moving blankets are a great deal. I like to cover my car in them, uh, just to keep me from bumping it and stuff. And when you can get them cheap, it's totally worth it. Uh, there's a rolling toolbox, a tool cart. Um, I always look at them. I always want to pick one up, but I, I always hold back for some reason. Uh, there's another Hercules. Uh, this is a hammer drill. I actually had that. I really was not impressed with it. Remote control car that they have everywhere. Uh, bottle jack for 15 bucks. Um, I don't even know if you could get one cheaper anywhere else. Not even used. Uh, Warrior, the blades, uh, I haven't had a good experience with them. It's a user error, I don't know. They're a half inch drive, 25, in 25 inch professional breaker bar. Um, every breaker bar I've ever had from Harbor Freight has been phenomenal. Uh, some of them flex a little more than uh, some of the bigger brands. But uh, so far they've been pretty good. And actually this uh, drill master drill set, if you don't have a lot of money or you just have to hang curtains or pictures or something in your house, that drill is more than fully capable of doing that. Um, and it's 20 bucks. Uh, they actually have an impact driver and a few other tools that go along with that. Um, you know, sometimes it, you, if you're drilling something or uh, putting a screw in something that's really hard, it'll put it in, but you can smell that little motor burning. But you know, for the 20 bucks, you know, that you paid for it, and if you use it for a year, but that's the one I keep in the house under the sink. If something was to happen to it, I wouldn't care. But like I said, mine's been really good. I have the uh, 21 gallon compressor. Uh, that thing is really awesome. It seems a little lacking sometimes. It's quite noisy, but uh, it definitely was worth what I paid for it. I uh, haven't used any of the cordless uh, earthquake tools, but uh, some a lot of people say they're really good. The saws all for 20 bucks. You know, it feels cheap, it looks cheap, but it works just as good as the better brands. Uh, 20 bucks, you really can't beat it. You have this uh, A. A M E S. I don't. I'm not really sure. Ames. Am. I don't know. But anyway, this is new. So these are all new to me. I've never seen any of these. I probably will try some of them out sometime. I was kind of looking for a new uh, multimeter. So that's kind of cool. Over here, you have some more of the Maddox, Maddox uh, mechanics tools. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the tire changer down here, it's kind of a turd. You have to bolt it to the floor. Um, but it does work. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. Unless you change a lot of tires on your own, I would probably just pay Walmart the 13 bucks to uh, remove and remount for you. Uh, the 
fluid transfer thing is pretty neat. I actually used it the other day. Works pretty good. The brake caliber tools from Maddox. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd have a hard time paying 50 bucks for that considering you just go to AutoZone and uh, rent it for free. Uh, here's a whole page of the floor jacks. And the uh, jack stands, like I said, they're all pretty good. I haven't tried any of their trolley jacks or anything, as I already had one. But uh, maybe something to look into for someone. There's a spotting scope with a tripod. I've never seen that. It's 54 bucks. Could be kind of neat. Right, folding shop cranes, engine stands. Uh, sometimes you can find that engine stand for quite a bit cheaper. Uh, the hoist and the jump packs and the inverters. Um, I haven't used a whole lot of those, like I said. The OBD2 scanners. I use a cheap one, it works great. Uh, here's the oil change ramps, that's what I call them. Uh, These are the plastic ones, the steel ones, your choice for 40 bucks. Uh, it's about the same price as everywhere else, and honestly, they, they're just about the same as everywhere else. Right, here's the Badland page, this is new, so I guess uh, this is Badland Beats Worn. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, any, any winches or anything, but uh, I mean, for Harbor Freight's price, you know, 299 bucks versus 700, I think it's probably worth a shot. I'd just buy the warranty, or just make sure you test it out before your return date's up. Uh, all my experience with the ramp, ramps and uh, cargo carriers and stuff, like I said, has been awesome. I had no complaints. Uh, the, the straps are a pretty good deal if you look around. And like Walmart and stuff, usually you can find a similar deal, maybe even a little better. Uh, but I've never had any problems with any of their bungee cords or anything like that. All right, here's the earthquake page. I would really love to be able to just try out the earthquake tools and bower tools and stuff, but uh, I really don't have the money for that. And then I'll have them sitting around and not being used. Uh, their impact sockets and adapters and everything, I've never broke one. I've never actually heard of anyone breaking anyone, any of them. Not to say it's not, you know, not to say it's not possible for someone that uses them every day, all day. But uh, my experience with them has been awesome. So if you need some new sockets, I would definitely look at the impact ones. You know, saying the oil air compressors, all the ones I've tried have been really good. The uh, Diablo air hoses are both really awesome. A lot of times they go on sale. But a lot of people say the hose reels pretty nice. I don't know if I'd pay $80 for it. Um, they're little rubber hoses, PVC air hoses, I mean. Uh, I absolutely hate them. Uh, all their little couplers and stuff. I usually go ahead and spring for the brass ones. Uh, but the steel ones are equally as nice. I've never had any problems with those. Uh, like I said, all the, all the nailers and staplers I've used from Harbor Freight, with the uh, Central Pneumatic brand, have been pretty good. I've only had one significant jam. Other than that, they've been awesome. Uh, the, the grinders and stuff, they were kind of iffy. Um, I never really used air tools of that uh, magnitude when I bought them, so I didn't really have a whole lot to compare them to, but I was not impressed. The heat gun, like I said, it's okay. Um, you just have to watch that switch, because it will wear out rather quickly. I've never used any of the trash pumps or water pumps or anything like that. I have used a little pond pump. It works pretty good. Drain cleaner is really awesome. Um, I've never used their respirators or anything. You, know, you can pick up the 3M one for about that price. Uh, the rubber anti-fatigue floor mats. I've always kind of looked at those. I just never bought any. The uh, butane torch, micro torch, I absolutely love mine. Mine's the uh, slightly older model. It's an orange body instead of black, but uh, it's really awesome. If I ever dropped it and broke it, I'd definitely buy another one. I've seen reviews on solar panels and stuff, and I'm definitely interested in them. It's just not one of those things I really want to mess with right now. I'm trying to find the proper position on my house and the things like that. Metal strip power outlets, like I said just a little while ago, they're awesome. A lot of their flashlights are really cool. 
I like the, the ones with the magnetic back. Um, working on wheel wells or uh, undercars, you can just stick it and have it pointed where you want. The safes, they all feel kind of cheap to me. The handles feel kind of wimpy. The uh, ammo cans, the plastic ones are pretty awesome. Um, I don't think they're waterproof. I think they're water resistant. Um, here's these uh, camera cases down here from Apache. I've still yet to see them in store, but I honestly haven't been there in a while. My last few orders have been online. The uh, storehouse terminals, they're, they're, they're decent for the price. I mean, you get 520 20 of them for $10.99. Um, it's actually quite an assortment. Actually, no, it's not, never mind. I was going to say I thought I had it sitting right there, but it's a different assortment. Um, they're actually pretty nice. They're a little stiff, so they're kind of hard to crimp. So you need to make sure you have a, a pretty decent crimping tool. Harbor Freights actually is pretty decent. Um, the wire assortment is also nice to have around. There's that power strip to give away for free quite often, but it's only a little four, four outlet one. Um, I've actually had some experience with the uh, the Portland Chipper Shredder, and I'd actually say it's a pretty nice tool. Um, the saw is also nice. I ha unfortunately haven't used any of the other ones, um, but if those convey the quality, I'd say I'm pretty impressed. Um, the one reason I didn't try the power washer and I went with the one I do have is that one, the uh, wand, you had to make, you had to find some way to make an attachment to hook up a foam cannon to wash your car or any kind of attachments. So I just went ahead and spent a little more and got a, in my opinion, better one. Uh, I've never used any of their heaters or chairs or bought any of their flags. I have used the log splitter um, and it actually worked really well. I've never used any of the generators. I did, I did buy one once for a storm that was coming and if I would have used it, I would have kept it. But the storm ended up not happening the way they were saying it was going to, so I just took it back. Um, I'll, I'll probably post a video for the chipper shredder soon. I have it. It's already been shot. It's not very good. But uh, it does show it doing some stuff. Uh, the welders. This is Vulcan Beats Lincoln. I somehow doubt it, but I'm not real versed in welders. Beats them on price. That's probably about it. Uh, here's some more welding masks and their uh, Chicago Electric welders. I thought about just grabbing one just to kind of play with. But I, I've still yet to do that. Uh, they're sand, they're uh, belt sander. I'm always looking at it. I almost buy it all the time. I just don't know how much I'd really use it. So I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I know somebody's got the blast cabinet. I've used it a few times myself. It's actually a really nice cabinet. Uh, it's a par parts washer. Uh, I've never used it, but it's basically just a sink. <laughs> Uh, the little cheap angle grinder, it, it has its place for sure, um, especially being uh, $14.99, you can get on sale. I think I want to say I paid $8.99, it's been a few years. Um, but if you're going to do anything significant with it or try to use it, you know, if you only use it a few times a year, that one will probably last you a while. But everyone says the one, the, uh, the blue bodied one with the pedal switch um, is the, the good one there. I've never used any of the uh, store brand blades. Not a, I didn't even try them. I just tossed them as soon as I got any tool or had a blade with it at home. The impact is awesome. Uh, the sanders. I uh, have the little, that one. The little detail sander. I want to say it was probably $10 or something when I bought it. Uh, it works okay. I had the uh, rotary tool, the small one. It was probably about that big. And I ended up just tossing it and uh, I actually have this one and I'd say it's actually a very nice tool uh, but the stuff that comes with it's kind of cheap so you uh, probably need to buy some better accessories but they're pretty good use it for knocking rust rust off parts and things All right, and here's the uh, Chicago Electric or Drill Master excuse me tools again and there's the Chicago Electric Impact um, from what I can tell they're actually kind of decent tools you know they're not as good is uh, some better brand ones, but they are very nice, especially for what you pay. And the reciprocating saw, I, I personally just don't like buying battery tools from Arbor Freight. Hercules, uh, like I said, I have a video on that. I was kind of impressed, you know, because it came from Harbor Freight, but in the run of things, 
it wasn't cheaper than DeWalt. If you wait until DeWalt's on sale or Ryobi or any of them, uh, you're gonna get a better deal than that one. The Bauer ones are a little cheaper. I, I still just, I'm not sure about the quality of the, you know, the whole thing. They seem to have been stepping up their game, making more tools, jigsaws, reciprocating saws, grinder, impact wrench, circular saw, flashlight. Uh, the batteries are pretty cheap. That's that's a one, that was a selling point for me when I bought them. Was how cheap the batteries were. You know, and the and the facts that they claimed were true, which I really don't think they were. There's some more Bauer stuff. Uh, their hammer drills and things. They all seem to be rated pretty highly. I just I just don't know how many that is. It might be one person. Uh, this is one of my favorite things Harbor Harborford has. It's the uh, drywall hoist. If you're putting any drywall in your house, a lot of times you can find people selling that on Craigslist for about 150 bucks. Um, but for $214, even at Harbor Freight, that's, it's not a bad deal. You know, you can use your coupon or whatever. Um, but it is absolutely an amazing tool. I don't know if, it, if any of you guys have ever tried to lift a piece of drywall above your head and uh, put screws in it. It's, it's not a fun task. So that definitely made my life easier. Other tarps are decent quality. All their mechanics gloves and uh, latex or nurdle gloves are... They're all decent. Uh, that's actually a staple that I usually pick up every time I go in there or grab a box of gloves. I don't really have one in particular. I just kind of grab the cheapest one. All their ratchets that I've used, um, mostly I'll just talk about the composite ones. Uh, you know, they're cheap and plastic feeling, but they're absolutely awesome. Um, they're part of the lifetime warranty thing. So, you know, if you ever break them and they quit working right, uh, you just take them back in and they'll switch it out for you. It's not a huge deal. Uh, there are chrome extensions and sockets and the colored ones. I just try to avoid them. I've had nothing but problems with them. They are a lifetime warranty thing. But it's just one more hassle, so I just use the impact sockets for everything. The star bits and everything, they've been pretty good. I've only ever sheared the teeth off one of the uh, Torx bits. But other than that, they've been good. Uh, I took it in and they switched it out for me, no problem. The uh, T-handle hex keys, I actually I absolutely love that set. I just like how convenient it is with the little stand. Everything is labeled. Uh, it just looks nice, and uh, they're very convenient to just grab and use. While granted, they don't seem as tough as a normal set of Allen keys, they are pretty nice. Uh, the wrenches, every set wrench that I've ever used from there has been awesome. Like I said, I've never had any problems with them. Some of them seem a little looser than I think they should be. You know, but maybe it's just the part I'm trying to use with, use it with. The tape measures are usually free. I probably have 15 of them or so. The aluminum square is actually pretty nice. They also have a plastic one for a dollar cheaper. Uh, I would just get the aluminum one if you ever needed one. The uh, plastic one was not straight. It was warped and everything. Straight out, straight home. It's the first time I used it, I could tell it was warped. Uh, the chisels, a four-piece set for eight bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. The Stanley one, they have a four-piece set for about ten or twelve bucks. Um, but for eight bucks, they were a pretty good deal. Uh, I don't use a whole lot of wood chisels, but sometimes I do. Do use them, and uh, I've had no problems with them. The uh, four-piece heavy-duty pry bar set. The handles on those things are awesome. Uh, they're just really cool to have around. Doesn't take the place of all crowbars, but they're if you're pulling up flooring or something, they're they're a very good deal. Like Ten bucks and you pull them. Up. Bremen and Doyle, uh, they're showing new tools with these guys. I'm surprised they're not, yeah they're comparing them to Klein. Klein does make some very nice tools, but they're very expensive. Uh, this is Bremen Beats, Irwin. You know I've I've never had any problems with any Irwin tools to be honest. But uh, the Harbor Freight tools are definitely cheaper. I'd say it's definitely worth a shot, you know, considering they have a lifetime warranty. And you don't even have to prove it when you take them back. You just say, it's broke. Give me a new one. Their warranty process is very easy. You could probably find some broken tools from someone else and take them back in. I'm not saying do that. Uh, mechanic tool sets. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about any of those things from Harbor Freight because I know the the tools are kind of iffy, but uh, 
you know, they are under the lifetime warranty, I believe, so shouldn't have any problems. The clamps are all really nice, for, especially for the price you pay. Uh, the assortment boxes and things are really cool if you're into organization. There's some more impact sockets. There's some uh, socket tray organizers down here, too. I'm actually in the market for those, so I may actually get, get some of those. Uh, the magnetic tool holder, like I said earlier, is awesome. I really like them. Saw blades, even tape measures. A little metal clip on the back of the tape measure will keep it up there. The L-shaped hang-all, pack of two. Shows a hose hanging on it. I like the V ones better, personally. Not to mention they're a little cheaper, but they uh, they work really well. There's a Yukon toolbox that I will end up getting. I really like all these toolboxes. They all feel really good whenever you look at them in the store. And this little workbench here. I would say it's not worth 90 bucks, but if you just have a little space that you wanted to keep a few things in, the top is uh, definitely like press board. It's not very good. Um, I kind of regret buying it. All the toolboxes, impact socket set. Sorry, it's, it's very cold out here. All right, and here you got the 20% uh, off coupon. So I can get it focused so you can see it. And there was a 25% off coupon, like I said, but I uh, let it expire before I made the video. Kind of unfortunate. Wish I wouldn't have done that. Maybe it would have helped someone out. Anyway, you got some straps out here, a car port, air compressor, wall TV mount. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope this helps you out in some way. Maybe you don't get the ad. Maybe this ad's different than yours. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Anyway, I'll try to keep up with the videos, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you around.